Hi, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Uh, today what I will do is we're going to walk through the creation of the grid control. Unlike all the other controls, which were Ajax controls, um, silver light controls, sorry, the grid, we're going to be using a, um, a Ajax control. So re um, if you can take the time to read my blog posting for um, part 12, which discusses the reasons why we're making it a, um, a Ajax control and um, some of the features that I want in an actual grid control. Um, following on from that, let's go check out the code. So what we did from the last from the last um, post is we came up with an iTunes application that looks something like this, um, a wireframe that looks like this. Um, the last post I added the background images that uh, repeat that on the actual tables on the TRs. Uh, that repeated across the the length of the uh, TR, so it's actually looking very close to what iTunes is. So what I want to do today is show you what the grid. I'll show you what the grid looks like. Um, just the simple grid, no um, extra features, just the plain old basic uh, settings for the grid. Oh. Let me get the correct URL and there's the grid there and it's not 100% um, like the iTunes one but it's very 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 similar and the data in there is just dummy data it's not pulling it from any um, it's still pulling it from a web service which I'll show you but it's not pulling real data so that grid is exactly what I want is exactly what I want um, from the style all the way down to the features and functionality. Again, read my blog for the reasons why. So what I'll show you now is the version that has the um, sort sortable columns and the, and the rearrangeable columns. They're both containing the samples zip file, so just download it and check it out. And in this case, as you can see, you can still select. You can sort by um, by column and at the moment, it just changes the, changes the dates because the there's no, the, the sorting, all the columns are already sorted, all the rows are already sorted, um, and you can actually move the columns around. Let's see what this? I think that's an awesome um, experience, all with Ajax controls and Silverlight controls, and I still have the album covers and the right menu um, tree view to to create and then to wire up all these controls. Okay, so let's look at the code. So the first step that I, the first step in implementing the grid control was to, as soon as it opens up, is to add a reference to the ajax.controls DLL, which um, if you go to the website, to my website, where I talk about um, where where I actually originally found the, the control, um, download it and there's a DLL in there which is the ajax.controls.dll just reference that and that's step one step two then um, is to actually create a to create the actual control within the base page the wireframe so how I did that was I created a new JavaScript file called create ajax grid.js and in there if you just go through there, um, I won't go through that right now. Um, it should all make sense. It's very simple. Is the code that actually um, wires up the grid, and to actually embed the grid into your web page. So if I go to the actual web page, it's as simple as including including that that um, JavaScript file, adding some styles for the behave um, the look and feel of the grid so this this style is specific to and I separated the styles between the style for the grids and the style for the silver light control so the, the style for the grid the grids can be found in their own separate style at the in the header and then there's the JavaScript file as I mentioned earlier and then the big piece which is the actual mark um, server side markup for the actual grid which is found here in div control 10 so that is as simple as it gets. So that there is just is the out of the box version of the grid. So if you go into the JF 0000011, 
it's exactly the same thing so the style is at the top of the within the header then you've got the JavaScript include and then you've got the actual server side um, markup for the actual grid control and in this case the only difference is that we specifically we specifically um, mention um, we've, ha we've co hard coded the column names and each of the columns we've added attributes that define whether or not you it's sortable or draggable and that's the difference between 10 and 11 it's very simple to implement I just suggest that you go through and you just check out the, the sample but the end result is in my eyes is exactly what I want from this um, from this iTunes project um, I'll look forward to meeting you in the next blog post in which I will be talking creating the left tree view control another Ajax control so till then bye